Hey, what's up everybody? It is I'm the one and only, Tiana here once again, and I'm back for some more if yet again for the likes of the Maxi Toys videos. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back for some more of Let's Play of Pokemon Snap for the Nintendo 64. So last time we have been able to find, uh, you know, two Pokemon signs in both the beach and the tunnel areas. And also during the forms of, we went to the valley three times by the way, for the sake of three playthroughs of it so far. Just because of this godforsaking switch. And because of that though, I got it in the end. So today, for this episode is the fact that we are still continuing things on by able to keep on searching for those remainings of these Pokemon signs. And eventually we're able to actually take even more pictures of certain Pokemon that we haven't actually come across into yet. Thanks to the forms of the Pokeflu. So this meaning about the fact that I can able to head back onto the forms of, uh, well, let's just say for example the beach level or anything else like that, then I can able to actually use the Pokey Flute on certain Pokemon to able to be awakened from it. So, uh, yeah, for the time being, let's head onto the forms of, uh, well, the volcano place first. So because of that though, all we need to go from here is to get that familiar Pokemon sign here. So because of that though, we actually did found one of them. So uh, there's not much else I can say apart from the fact that today's day is of course the 18th of March today, in this case in 2021. And it looks like so far in Japan that uh, the Super Nintendo World Newsman Park has finally opened after eight months of delaying uh, due to the forms of the stupid pandemic is going on. But uh, regardless of anything else though, that I'm sure that Nintendo fans will be really, really hyped about the forms of the Super Nintendo World by now. Especially in support that they can now finally experience the whole entire uh, Newsman Park itself. Although, mind you, that in journey forms of other variations of, uh, you know, the Super Nintendo world, thanks to the forms of the Epic Universe, is actually going to be able to restart the construction or something, even though I haven't really looked upon that much research on it for quite some time, just because, well, that again, though, it has been a while since I actually mentioned about the Super Nintendo worlds these days, but anyway, so, uh, here, yeah, let's go and use the Pokey Flute onto this specific spot there. I was normally gonna able to try to let those Charmanders get closer, but for whatever reason, I just simply just managed to able to activate that, you know, the Pokey Flute in a little bit of an early statement. But regardless of anything else, though, we have managed to at least manage to capture some pictures worth noting for. And it is Moltres once again, and ooh, I might as well get ourselves a good. Photo shot with those magmars right there, so that way they're able to get the fighting uh, uh, special effect. So uh, that maybe seems the case at all. And uh, that doesn't end off here because I think we haven't exactly gone into the forms of this area yet. That's only because if you try to toss the pester ball right into the forms of those little, uh, you know, little holes over there with the lava and stuff, this is where we come across into those other Pokemon there, which, uh, again, I do apologize for the mispronunciation, uh, the, uh, uh, you know, the naming of certain Pokemon, which I do apologize for that, but, uh, mind you though, it's because I'm usually gonna have to concentrate on, you know, certain stuff as you expect, so, uh, yeah, another thing I want to talk about is, is the fact that I no longer have myself, uh, Big Brain Academy for the DS and the Wii versions, it's mainly because, well, since I'm now, uh, grown, oh, um, grow, I'm essentially just educational puzzle elements out because, well, although don't get me wrong, I have a good time with these games back in the day, but I think I'm just gonna have to move on to the next set of franchises, mainly with the forms of, oh, I've already mentioned about this countless amount of times, and I'm pretty sure that Sonic has already mentioned about this loads of times already, since journey forms of Super Mario 64 DS already, that, uh, I think we're pretty much gonna have to move on to the next set of franchise, mainly with, like, well, we already mentioned about the Spyro the Dragon series, which I am now into at this point, and also same applies to the Ape Escape series, and even to top it off, eventually in the future, I'm also able to offer the challenge for the, one of the trickiest puzzle games on the DS, which appears to be the Professor Layton series. Well, four of them on the DS, and then two for the 3DS to be more specifically. Oh wow, that's a really, really horrible photo I did done. 
Although, mind you though, I was able to try to get some improvements of certain Pokemon pictures, but then again though, it really does usually just becomes like an immediately apparent, but anyway. Alright, let's see how Moltres is. Ooh, size is actually top notch, and pose is the same. And of course we got the technique as well, so uh, definitely a lot more improvement over the likes of the first image. And of course we got ourselves the Fighting Magmar, so even then though, no. oh the pose is way better than the forms of the first photo. And of course we got the same Pokemon as well, so that'll give me a lot of extra boost there, so yeah, top notch. And um, another thing is worth noting for is the fact that, uh, the, because the reason why I uh, no longer have myself... Uh, well, let's just say, uh, Big Brain Academy for the DS is mainly because, uh, there is that another Kirby game I might be able to consider trying out, and that's what appears to be by the forms of the Paintbrush duology of games. Well, one of them on the DS and one on the Wii U. You know what I mean when it comes to the forms of the one on the DS. It was, uh, Canvas Curse, aka Power Paintbrush. And also, on the Wii U, it was actually Rainbow Curse, aka, well, Rainbow Paintbrush, because, well, I just have no idea why that Great Britain or the United Kingdom managed to able to change that name, so, uh, anyway though, but I'm also able to actually still try to get those two games, despite I'm not a big fan of the gameplay style, but at least I'll give that a chance, or a second chance, I should say. Mind you, the only exception being Kirby Mass Attack, though, just because, well, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be able to actually be interested with Mass Attack or something like that. It's clearly because of how the fact that the way how it controls with the uh, the touchscreen and stuff like that. So, uh, but usually I'm going to be okay trying to able to get Power Paintbrush and eventually uh, Rainbow Paintbrush on both the DS and the Wii U. Because I'm pretty sure that Rainbow Paintbrush is the only Kirby game to able to only came out on the Wii U. So. Which I found was a little bit odd, because unlike um, Kirby Star Allies, which did came out on the Switch, and uh, also we got two main platforming uh, Kirby games on the 3DS, well, one inclusion with uh, the ports as well, by the forms of uh, Kirby's extra epic yarn, but either way, though, that's how I can usually think about it. And also, as you can see, we managed to went back into the river once again, except, well, as you can tell, that obviously I did manage to able to find another Pokemon sign. So, uh, yeah, that begs the question. So, I'm pretty sure in order to able to get the next Pokemon, which I think you do need to let the slow poke, manage to go almost right near to the forms of some sort of like a river bank. And, uh, I'm pretty sure if you manage to let him go and... Is he gonna... Oh, wait a second, he's going for a fishing. Okay then. And turns out he will find the, well, the shelter. And basically, this will magically transform into slow bro. So, yeah, that seems a little bit obvious, right? Although, mind you, I'm pretty sure that the picture quality wasn't going to be all that great. So, I don't think I can get that much good points, though, I'm, I'm afraid. But, uh... Oh well, at least I did slightly try, but either way though, that's how it is when it comes to the forms of trying to able to upgrade certain Pokemon pictures and all that stuff though, but uh, either way though, that's how I can usually think about it, so, oh well, well, uh, gonna have to be able to leave it to that, so. Anyway though, um, another thing I just want to point things out as well, that I uh, also no longer have some of these, uh, Amiibos, which are basically uh, Duck Hunt Duo and also Little Mac, because, well, um, at the end of the day, while I did manage to able to enjoy most of these other uh, uh, games for sure, but unfortunately though, I somehow managed to able to uh, manage to able to have lesser amount of Amiibos, although we'll get some of them based off from one of my favorite franchises, most notably with, of course. Uh, the Mario ones, and also say replies to, uh, well, let's just say the Legend of Zelda ones, even though I've only got one left, which appears to be Young Link, which I also need to be planning to get, and also the Metroid stuff, which at the moment I do need Dark Samus, along with, uh, Ridley, and even especially noticeable with King K. Roll being part of the Donkey Kong series, which, uh, yeah, that does uh, seems a little bit obvious, right? So even then, though, because of that, and also some occasional Pokemon Amiibo as well for uh, 
Pichu, Incineroar, and uh, you probably named the idea, along with the Pokemon Trainer as well. So I can able to actually just, uh, well, just trying to get those in the future. And I might also trying to get uh, Richter and Simon Billmart, as in Amiibo forms, so that way I may... Quite good when it comes to the forms of some Castlevania stuff. And, uh, of course, uh, I believe next uh, week, actually, that we are definitely getting ourselves Banjo and Kazooie Amiibo at some point later on in next uh, Friday, which I'm really, really excited about because we haven't got a... Uh, we haven't got a Banjo Kazooie kind of uh, figure for quite some time. Even though, mind you, we did have some couple of those uh, Banjo and Kazooie ami uh, figures uh, in the past, but some of them can be pretty expensive to get, though. And uh, also, I might as well try to get myself. Uh, well, actually, I don't know, actually, just because, well, then again, though, it has been a while since I actually did manage to discuss on Amiibo and stuff like that, but. Uh, Anyway, though, so let's see right here. So, of course, we got ourselves, I believe, two new kinds of Pokemon so far. And, uh, it seems to be more specifically that we've almost nearly at the end in terms of able to complete our, um, Pokemon, uh, list. Mind you, there are only, like, 63 Pokemon out of, uh, you know, 151 Pokemon from Generation 1. So, uh... Yeah, that seems a little bit more obvious, so... Nah, so close! If only with that size is a bit... small. Oh well. 650? Uh, it's not gonna catch up, I don't think. Nope. Oh well, I tried. I really did try, but anyway. Uh, let's see. Uh... Nah, it's not gonna compare it, so... Oh well, no big deal. And let's see for... Obviously, it's not going to give me that much points, though, so... Yeah, it's pretty bad. So we'll keep the other one, because the other one does look pretty cool-looking. But anyway, let's get ourselves the next Pokemon sign. And it looks like we got 55 kinds of Pokemon. So I believe we got about 8 Pokemon left, which... Until whenever we complete our Pokemon report, so... In fact, there are, if there are some uh, Pokemon i actually be missing, well, let me know in the comments, because, uh, well, I did manage to try to research on it to see if there are any uh, Pokemons I've missed, but uh, I will try my best if I was gonna able to try to research on those specific Pokemon I actually missed throughout the mistake of this game so far. But then, uh, then again, though, if I do end up missing some, I won't be able to actually come back for them, so... Uh, Anyways, let's go ahead and uh, explore the cave and try to find not only some new Pokemon that we haven't discovered yet, but also just trying to find the new Pokemon sign. So, uh, God knows of what that Pokemon is going to be related to, I wonder. Well, spoiler warning, it might be something related to number 150 Pokemon, which uh, I'm sure most of you Pokemon fans might able to already know about this. So anyways, we have Mock right here. Oh, that's actually a pretty good pose and pretty good picture, too. So, yeah, I think I should probably get the good result from here. Plus, I need, do need to be able to get a much more of the improvement picture of uh, Dudo right here, which I think I actually did accomplish it. So, uh, I think that maybe seems the case. So, uh, actually, let me try and go ahead and uh, try to save Jigglypuff again, and then hopefully I would... You know, trying to able to actually go ahead and uh, grab some more points or obtain more points by, you know what I mean. So either way, though, seriously, trying to use pesto balls while trying to aim for certain Pokemon is not as easy as it sounds. Although, mind you, though, it's probably because of how the fact that sometimes my uh, control might be a bit delayed at points. But uh, apart from those aside things, though. Yeah, I believe there's also another Pokemon by this guy over there, but uh, I believe to get to that though, I'm pretty dang sure that you do need to able to require uh, an apple to able to knock him onto this particular water, but unfortunately though, I failed the chance to do so. But uh, we'll try that again at some point, whenever we're able to actually just try to find, you know, the rest of the Pokemon signs. Speaking of signs, there's one over there, so... Uh, I'm really hoping I can able to get that count, so... Oh, do I even get it? Oh yes, I think I got it. For that Pikachu balloon. 
So, uh, yeah, that's another one of those special bonuses, Pikachu photo, that we can able to get. But, um, I think my 100% guarantee for this, though, I really can't guarantee they able to get that best picture of Pikachu, because that honor still goes to the ones in the tree stomp, so... Anyway, it's time to use the Pokey Flute and this particular egg, and this will activate the Octacuna. Which, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it seems pretty cool. It's another one of those legendary birds, and it's actually an ice type. So, uh, yeah, well, I've noticed that ever since. And uh, whenever I managed to use to watch uh, Pokemon the Movie 2000, you know, with the one with uh, the power of one, that's, uh, it's actually a pretty cool uh, movie. Easily, without a doubt, one of the best ones. Although, mind you, though, I really kind of prefer uh, Zorlock Master Revolutions uh, story over the likes of how it does it on something related to, well, my least favorite Pokemon movie of all time, though, will probably have to be Destiny Deoxys, in my opinion, just because, oh, man, the story is, like, conf it's just a bit jumbled up mess, in my opinion. But that's just for this discussion for another day. But anyway, as you can see, I've almost run out of film from that specific camera shot. It's mainly because, well, I just want to show you guys of what happens if you do manage to run out of your, uh, you know, the film and all that stuff though. So, but uh, unfortunately, I didn't get the chance for able to do that in time because I ended up on the gold gate already. So, uh... Anyway, though, so let's go ahead and uh, choose some of these pictures that we have actually just managed to took. And uh, hopefully, trying to get the much more improvements and all that stuff. Plus, we still need to include the Pokemon sign. So, uh, um, I suppose maybe this picture, even though, mind you, it doesn't go nearly as close as I think. So, uh, and plus, because of this, though, I'll point it out whenever we get into it. So, because of that, though, yeah, let's go for Articuno. Or Octacano, which I do apologize for that pronunciation error. So, again, I must admit that I do apologize for that. I do know Zapdos and also uh, Moltres because, after all, I do know those. Uh... Ooh, size is top notch. Pose is good, not the best, but we got the technique nonetheless. So, yeah, I'm quite pleased about this. All right, what about you? Uh, 400. Oh, pose is way better than the uh, the previous photo. So I'm very very happy with this. And what about you, uh, Grimmer? Which I think it's not gonna be the exactly the same, so... Nah, it's a bit lacking, so... Oh well, no big deal. Anyways, let's take a look at Pikachu. Specifically, Balloon Pikachu. Which, this gives us six, 1600 points. So, that seems quite a lot. But, that does not even compare, because obviously, in addition to... Uh, the pose, and also we got two Pikachus all in one picture, so I think we should probably stick around with uh, Pikachu on a stomp, so... Oh well, no big deal, but at least I'll get ourselves some good points value if you do manage to aim for the balloon Pikachu at least, so... Plus the Jinx photo is actually a lot better than the other one, so yeah, I'm very happy with this. Alright, Octacuno, um... Uh, yeah, does look pretty awesome. Even though it's certainly a lot better than my uh, Sapdos picture. Seriously, I really need to be able to redo that if I'm missing something, so... And it looks like... Ooh! Looks like it's gonna be a way better picture than he forms of how it does on the first time around. So, yeah, I'm quite chuffed about this. And of course, we can never forget the Pokemon sign, so, uh, yeah. That's pretty awesome and top notch too. So, 57 kinds of Pokemon that we have found so far. So, uh, yeah, we're actually getting pretty close towards the end for certain Pokemon lists that we have actually found. So, anyways, let's head back into the valley for the fourth time so far for this Let's Play. And because of that, the last Pokemon sign, which is not that far actually. It appears to be at the beginning portion of the level. So, uh, and by doing so, is that you have to like. Take a snapshot of uh, this particular mountain site that appears to be similar to uh, the Duck Trio. So, uh, yeah, that seems a little bit obvious for the sake of that specific, uh, where that sign is located. So, uh, anyway, so I think we should probably take some couple of good pictures of certain Pokemon. And uh, I bet they might be bringing something like other Pokemon so that we can find around here. Which I was really hoping we can able to find those just throughout. 
So, uh, yeah, there's not much else I can honestly try to say for this point, guys, apart from the fact that, well... Oh, oh yeah, I forgot to mention, actually. Um, it's all at some point next week that, uh, the UK release of the Nintendo 3DS will be become 10 years old and during next week, in, uh, not only for the UK in the 25th of March, but I believe next, um, Sunday, if I recall correctly, that, uh, the 3DS on North America will able to get its 10th anniversary treatment as well, so, uh, yeah, I think I might as well guess that correctly, but then again, though, I, uh, keep on thinking about the Switch for some reason, because, well, usually the Switch has been out for about four years now, but, uh, usually, relatively speaking, it's doing so well at the end, though, which, uh, that maybe seems the case, so, uh, because of the forms of, uh, the durability, or just anything else that, what the Nintendo Switch is so unique and specialty, and, uh, oh, there's that Goldeen! I do recognize that Pokemon, it's the Goldeen. But unfortunately I didn't seem able to get it, so uh that's kind of underwhelming. I do know I do definitely know there's another Pokemon in these waterfall over there, but uh I have no idea how do I exactly try to get it. But uh Again, if I do end up somehow missing some of these Pokemon, I will be back for them eventually, so, uh, well, at least specifically until next Tuesday, we can probably end off the Let's Play from there. Well, at least for the most part anyway, though, so, uh... Alright, so, uh, let's see what's in here. Oh, of course, we got the exact same, uh, you know, that Pokemon over there that I've managed to took. I'm really hoping I can get ourselves a good, uh, snapshot picture of, uh... Oh, there's Gold... Ah, uh, dang it. I was a bit too slow. I think Gold Dean is actually way too fast to be able to disappear, so, uh... It's definitely one of the trickier Pokemons to take a picture of, so, uh... Oh, well. We'll, uh, keep on trying by... Keep on... Oh! Ah, drat. I keep on went too slow on these parts. But, other than the fact that we keep on getting ourselves Magic Carp right here. But at least we can able to use pesture balls on the water, so just in case we can able to, or the river, so that way we can able to just manage to let the, uh, you know, Goldeen to able to pop out. Oh, there he is! At least I technically got him. Well, despite the fact that it was not actually centered properly, so, uh, at least I was still trying to able to actually bet it on it, though, so, uh, yeah, at least I did manage to able to capture some new Pokemon, at least, but, uh, I don't know. We'll see what happens in June whenever we see that little, uh, uh, the actual marking, uh, kind of gallery, like, camera check. So, uh, of course, we can never forget the Pokemon sign. And let's go for, uh, yeah, I think, yeah, we'll go for this picture, because it looks kind of nice, actually, with this pose. And as far as Sand Slash, we'll go for this one, because it's definitely a little bit more closer. And, yeah, we'll go for that picture, because it looks nice on him. And, uh, yeah, at least I did manage to found the Goldeen, at least. So, uh, actually, kind of think about it, before we able to actually, like... Uh, bet on one of those, uh, Goldeen photos. Uh, yeah, I'll give, uh, Graffiel, uh, uh, that picture. And as far as everything else, as far as I'm concerned, um, hmm, I'm not exactly sure. I might try to be able to bet on Magic Carp from there and Goldeen from that picture. But we'll see, because even then, though, that usually I'm always going to be okay when it comes to, like, getting some of these Pokemons I do definitely need for my report. So, anyways, size is really good. Pose is pretty much the same. But at least we got the technique after all. So, uh, yeah, top notch. Alright, um, ah, oh, that's not good. Um, yeah, I think the other one is way better, but close enough. Alright, what about you, Sand Slash? Uh, size is pretty good. Even though a little bit more better than the other one is, though. Even though the pose is, ex is exactly the same, so... Oh, it looks like we have, uh, Graphiel's Group Dance, I see. And that gives me 500 points. Size is really top-notch. Pose is pretty much the same. And, of course, we got the Technique. Plus, um, well, the same Pokémon. So, awesome sauce. 
Alright, magic carp. Um, let's see. I get the feeling that it's not gonna compare to the ones in the tunnel, though. Nah, it's not gonna compare it. Oh well, no big deal. Alright then, let's see, for Goldeen. Uh, size is alright, pose is amazing, but sadly, yeah, we didn't get him in the center, so... Oh well, no big deal. But at least we got the, uh, the Pokemon sign at least, so... Alright, so 58 kinds of Pokemon that we've got, so I think we're down to 5 left, so... Yeah, I think that should be good to go, really. You've finally got all of the Pokemon sign pictures. Hmm. hmm, after looking at these six pictures, I've noticed that the signs are just like the constellations that I that can be seen in, from Pokemon Island. That's the key to this mystery. Now, it all makes sense. It's the sky. Rainbow cloud floating in the sky is the secret course. Someone in the clouds must have created the Pokemon signs. I have made a new path to the rainbow cloud. This could prove very important for Pokemon research. Good luck, Todd. So basically, we're now able to actually access to the final level in the game, which appears to be the rainbow cloud. However though, I'm gonna save that until for later, because obviously I'm gonna be aiming for the rest of those remaining uh, Pokemon as it is. So, for the time being, let's hit onto the forms of the beach for, I think this is specifically the final time we can able to actually hit into the beach. And because of that though, there was that one particular Pokemon that we haven't come across into one yet. That's what appears to be body forms of someone is sleeping, which, uh, that's what the Poke flu starts to come in. And, uh, before we get into the specific stuff though, let's just go ahead and just well, dash forward a little bit, so uh, I don't think there's any point we can able to do with uh, Pikachu surfing at the moment, just because I already got myself the best Pikachu photo ever, which is the one with the Pikachu on the stump. So, uh, yeah, that begs the question for the sake of time. And I will try my best if I was trying to able to get a good picture quality of uh, Lapras, which, if I didn't go- if it doesn't go so well, then I'm just gonna say screw it. And I, honestly, I felt incredibly bad for uh, Lapras, honestly. And here we got ourselves Snorlax, which, again, in order to able to let him uh, awake, you must be sure you need to activate the Pokey Flute, and then if you do that, then you're able to actually just to finally take a picture of Snorlax. So, yeah. And also we got ourselves the Meowth dancing around for this particular tune. So that's, uh, that's actually kind of cute and harmless. Alright, so, okay, so at least we got this, um, is there another, oh, at least we got that one Lapras over there, so at least we're able to get a good glimpse of it, though. And we're trying to able to take this picture of, uh, this particular Pokemon there. And of course, two Pikachus managed to come into play. And basically, if you try to able to use the Poke Flu, then basically you'll do a some sort of like a uh, the Thunderbolt move. So uh, yeah, something's worth knowing for. I get a feeling that the pre uh, that picture I took, um, I'm pretty sure that results didn't go that well. Which uh, you see why whenever we get into the actual results menu. So uh, actually, let's go ahead and get ourselves a really really good picture on uh, Chansey. Yeah, Chansey. Yeah, there we go. I think that's actually a pretty good picture that we've uh, actually took. Ah, oh, no, don't go! Ah, oh, I was a bit too late on that front. But, uh, at least I'm hoping I'm able to actually get a good glimpse of it, though. Anyway, let's just go ahead and get ourselves uh, this guy right here to able to... Or Kangaskhan, which, uh, I have no idea why I just managed to able to say things like that. Anyways, uh, this is what happens if you do manage to take, uh, all 60 films, and basically, when you reach to the 10 mark, then basically it just turns all red, and then if you run out of film, then you'll be pretty much gonna go back, so... And it seems it does have a different trans transition whenever, when, uh, when that usually happens, because I'm pretty sure in the, uh, the PAL version, it just goes like, Blake Black. And then, I think in the North American version, it just gets like a little bit of a circular, you know, kind of like the forms of the Looney Tunes kind of cartoon, whenever they did manage to show the actual, uh, 
well, you know what I mean, when it comes to the, uh, the outro, uh, episode or something, but... Anyways, let's go ahead and pick that Snorlax on the, the, you know, that picture over there, just because it looks actually pretty good looking. And, um, okay, so let's give, uh, Lapras the second chance. Um, actually, I might as well go for this. I have no idea, but, uh, if it doesn't go all that well, though, then I might have felt very sorry for Lapras, but, uh... Either way, though, I literally did try for this point. I literally do try my best to able to actually get certain pictures and stuff. But anyway, let's go ahead and just see what these pictures actually compare. Alright, PGs. Um, nah, it's not that good, so we'll just trash that. Alright, Snorlax. Let's see. Uh, size is good. Pose is amazing. And of course, we got the technique, so awesome sauce. Alright, we got Mouth, or Meowth, I should say. And since he was actually dancing, he actually gave me extra more points. So, yeah, I'm quite achieved by that. Alright, Pikachu on a stomp thing again. So, same amount of points. But, the only downside is, though, is the, uh, the size. So, yeah, it's not that great. Oh well. Alright, Jansi. Alright. Oh, the size is way better. Pose is... Oh, even way more better. So this might be the best picture out of all the two we actually took. Awesome. Alright, Lapras. Let's see. What? You are kidding me. Ah, oh, I'm so sorry, Lapras. I am so sorry. Ah, oh, I kind of got screwed over right there. Ah. Oh. It's a shame, because even then, though, that Lapras is actually a kind of a cool Pokemon, but I seriously got screwed over by these stupid timing and what have you. Ah, oh, what a shame. Anyway, um, I suppose, seemingly to say, that we'll uh, go ahead and end things off here. Don't worry, I will save my game off screen, so don't worry. So because of that, though, yeah, we got to end things off at this point right here. So join me next time for more of Let's Play of Pokemon Snap. It's the fact that we'll go ahead and find the last few remaining Pokemon before the very last Pokemon we can able to take a picture of in the Rainbow Cloud. So I'll see you guys until maybe next Tuesday. So I'll see you guys on Tuesday. Later.